Hey guys, welcome back to week eight of the Axial Deadbolt budget build. Now, yesterday was Christmas and Thursday. Normally I try to get the videos out on Thursday, but I missed this one. Had a crazy Christmas and just didn't get it done. So I'm gonna get this thing shot, edited out to you guys here as soon as possible. And then I'm also going to do another episode of this and release it for you guys tomorrow. So try and make up a little bit with a two part week this week. But for this week, what we're going to do is we're going to do a brand new set of Pitbull Rock Beast tires. Now, these tires are a fantastic performing tire pretty much all the way around. Now, they are just a hair shorter than the Axial Maxxis Trepidors that we have on the truck, but all in all, this tire still works pretty well. These tires that are on the truck measure somewhere around 4.75 inches tall, and these are somewhere roughly about a quarter inch shorter, but uh, I haven't really noticed a huge detriment in running just a tad bit shorter tire over this size tire in the past. Now before I had talked about doing a foam upgrade in these tires and I held off on that because I knew I was going to be changing out the tires. I do plan to use this truck to compete in some scale competitions this year and overall I wanted a tire that did a little bit better as far as performance on the rocks. I really like the Maxxis Trapadors as far as style and height and everything goes, but performance wise, they just don't quite do as well as the Pit Bulls. So I am going to switch over to the Pit Bulls. Now, these tires come with a two stage foam, a harder inside and then a softer outside. These, these foams will work for the meantime, but we are still going to do a more optimal foam down the road. So again, having these beadlock wheels that we touched on earlier, allowing you to take the tire and wheel off to be able to switch foams or tires in general, nice thing to have at this point when we are planning on doing quite a bit of work with tires and foams. So now with that little bit of intro video done, we are gonna remove all four of the wheels from the truck and then start pulling off those stock Maxxis tires and putting on our new Pitbull tires. To begin the tire swap, we're gonna first remove the wheel from the vehicle. Next, we're going to remove the six hub screws from around the center of the wheel. This will release the three pieces of the beadlock. With the old tire out of the way, we can now insert the center clamping ring into the middle of the new Pitbull tire. These Pitbulls are pretty wide, so we're going to have to pay special attention while mounting them. With the center clamping ring installed, put the front and rear pieces of the beadlock on each side of the tire. Line up the holes, making sure to check the pattern of the front and back sides so that they match accordingly when installing the center hub. Install the six screws into the center hub in a star pattern. After initially tightening the center screws, check to make sure that the tire is well seated. Again, these tires are wide and it can be a little bit difficult to make sure that the, everything gets nice and seated. Once you're sure that everything's in place where it should be, finish tightening up those six screws. After reinstalling the wheel onto the car, I am then venting these tires again. Again, I'm using a pair of body scissors to make a small, roughly eighth inch diameter hole. When the performance of the truck is the most important thing to you, I do recommend venting these tires. It will perform better, letting the foam act the way it should. A non-vented or sealed tire is going to be much more bouncy and will not perform as well. Now, if you're doing a lot of off-roading in water and you're really concerned about that, you can go that way in sacrificing the performance. But if you're really worried about the performance, vented tires are going to be the best setup for you. All right, a simple tire swap wraps up the upgrades for this week. I am going to keep around these Maxxis Trepidors for the future. I'll probably wanna set up a set of more trail style tires and wheels, as well as a tire setup like this for rock performance. These pit bulls do extremely well on the rocks and they're going to outperform these tires in the situations that we're going to put this truck through. But no reason to throw away a really good set of tires. So I'm gonna keep these around on the shelf for later on down the road. But that's it for this one, guys. The next episode for this week is coming right after this one. So stay tuned, I'll get that one out there and you guys can see what else I have in store for this week. So that's it, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.